So today we're doing a high-end oil filter shootout. This is really an extension from our first film in which we took five very popular oil filter brands ranging from three to fifteen dollars and essentially we cut cut open the filters and we went over if you can run conventional versus synthetic, how many miles you can get out of them, uh, we showed the aesthetic differences between them and that sort of thing. It was always meant to be a very basic, almost for the layman person, kind of video just so you can sort of learn why is one filter three bucks and the other one fifteen dollars and a large majority of you did enjoy that information however roughly twenty percent which is quite large either wanted different brands or you wanted more information in other words what's the material used on the media is a synthetic versus cellulose or a blend what's the anti-drain back material is a silicone versus rubber What's the uh, bypass spring? Is it stamped steel versus coil spring? What's the thickness of the can? I mean, you guys really asked for a lot of very, very specific information that the layman would not really go into, but that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to be cutting open these high-end oil filters. We're gonna compare them all. I'll also jot down what the cost was. Again, I had to purchase all of these online because my local auto parts store doesn't have any of these. So I'm just going to start right off the bat by cutting open these filters laid on the table, we'll go over the material, we'll do some measurements, and uh, let's see what we come back with. Now before we begin looking at each filter on its own, let me just quickly state that all the filters here are made for the exact same vehicle. So in other words, we're not mixing and matching filters. They're all made for a 1997 Nissan Maxima. So let's just get that right out of the way if you are wondering that. And secondly is there are a lot of similarities among all five filters. Number one is the efficiency rating, which happens to be 99% among all five. So they all do a very good job at filtering the motor oil and grabbing as many contaminants as possible. If you're curious about the Micron rating, the lowest micron rating I was able to find was the AM soil at 20, but they're all between 20 and 25 microns, so they're very, very good at filtering the motor oil. So let's start by looking at the bottom row here, move our way up, and then we'll start looking at each filter on its own. Now this happens to be the base plate on the bottom row here. Of course, it's metal among all five. The, the difference that you really find is regarding the number of inlet holes, and the Fram has the most. They happen to have 10 inlet holes, the Wix has 8, then the K&N, the Royal Purple, and the AM Soil happen to have 6 inlet holes. The gasket material is perfectly fine, high quality among all five. Of course, whenever you change your motor oil, just put a dab of clean motor oil on the gasket. That seals the, uh, the connection really so you don't have any leakage, plus the next time you do an oil change, it makes the filter a little bit easier to remove. Now moving up to the next row, we have the anti-drain back valves, and they happen to be silicone among all five. Your cheaper filters will have rubber. The reason why you want silicone is because it does a much better job in very cold and very hot temperatures. So it's a superior material compared to rubber. The whole point behind this is when you turn off your vehicle, this little valve allows oil to be saved in the filter. So the next time you start your vehicle, you will not have a cold or a dry start. It keeps the oil in the filter so it's ready to be circulated in the motor. So it's a nice little feature to have, but again, it just depends on the material on the filter. Now moving to the next row, these happen to be the bypass springs. So you either have stamped steel or you have a coil spring. Now, as you can see, the Wix and the K&N use a coil spring, which is, in my opinion, is a very nice feature. It's a little bit more money to manufacture, but the fact that they go coil spring, I think that's pretty cool. The Fram, the Royal Purple, and the AM Soil happen to use stamped metal. Now, moving up to the next row here, of course, we have the filter material itself. Now, the, every filter here happens to have a metal spine, so everything here is metal. It's not cardboard, it's not plastic, it's metal among all five. Now, regarding the number of pleats, I will count that off camera. I think what we're going to do here is talk, talk about the main points, and then I'll do an individual uh, video on each filter regarding the number of pleats. I'll even cut it open to see 
uh, if it's wire backed, which I believe all five are wire backed, but we'll also measure the square inches of the material. The reason why I don't want to do that right now in this video is because this video will be 45 minutes long if I do that. So most of you out there have one filter you really like or maybe two, and I'll go into that kind of detail on its own. But we'll still go over the base or the really major features right now. So they all have metal spines, metal end caps among all five, which is a nice feature as opposed to cardboard, which some of the cheaper filters will have. And again, the material is synthetic for almost all five. The one exception is K&N. They happen to use cellulose. And I'll explain why when we talk about the K&N, why they've gone with the cellulose as opposed to synthetic. Just to give you an idea, Mobile One uses synthetic as well. Mobile One will also use uh, uh, silicone anti-drain back valve. So at least it gives you a comparison in that sense. And then we have the cans up here, and I'll measure each can once we get talking about each filter. So at least this gives you a pretty good idea what's going on. The thing that's really interesting to my eye is that the Royal Purple and the AM Soil look exactly the same. Even the, the, the diameter on the drain back valve here is exactly the same. I mean, there, to me, there's just no difference between the two of them. I could be wrong, but uh, they look to be exactly the same, these filters. So let's start by looking at each filter on its own. And hopefully you, this uh, helps you guys out there. The next time you look and change your motor oil, maybe one, you'll like one over the other. So let's start with the Fram. So let's start with the Fram Pro Synthetic Filter. It's made in the USA, rated at 15,000 miles, which is a very good number. It's essentially the economy filter here of the group, $8, which is the cheapest one for this specific vehicle. Some downsides or disadvantages is the, uh, the pleating here is, it's not, it, for the most part, it's evenly spaced until you get to the rear and you see that there's a, there's a big gap. And the other filters, you won't find that. Uh, the spacing is a little bit better among the other filters but at least it does have metal end caps. The center tube is metal as well. If you compare this with the Fram Extra Guard, this is a much better filter for $3 more. We did cut open the Extra Guard in a previous video and the end caps were cardboard. So this, is, this construction is far superior to the Extra Guard for $3 more. I would have no hesitation spending $3 more on this filter. Uh, because it is your engine and obviously you need that thing to run forever. I mean, that's the way I see these vehicles. So spend the extra three bucks if you do want to run with the Fram. So let's move on to the next one, which is the Wix XP. So now we have the Wix XP oil filter. A lot of you wanted to see this in our last oil filter video or you highly recommended it. And you can clearly see why the spacing on the pleating here is very, very good. It's certainly better than the Fram Pro Synthetic. Of course, you have metal end caps. Your center tube is metal. I'm fairly confident once we cut open the filter and we do a measurement, the square inches will be higher than the Fram. Very good, high-quality material. Again, silicone anti-drain back valve. You have a coil, coil spring for the bypass valve. So just a very, very good oil filter. Regarding on how often you have to change it, Wix recommends that you go by your vehicle's manufacturer recommended interval. They are really excellent if your vehicle is running in extreme conditions, such as long idle speeds, if you're towing, if you're doing lower gear uh, climbs, if uh, you're operating in very, very cold weather. Wix is your oil filter, and at $10, I tell you, it's a very, very good filter for the money. Now, let's move over to the next one, which happens to be K&N. So now we're looking at the K&N oil filter, and two of my favorite features is that they use a one inch fitting on the end. So it's very fast to install and remove the filter. But secondly, they have a fitting here for a safety wire. Now, for example, in motorcycle racing, you attach a safety wire to your oil filter just in case if you have a blowout, the filter won't fly on the track and maybe injure another, ri another rider. So it's a really nice feature to have with the K&N. Secondly, look at the spacing of the pleats. If you compare that to the wicks, let me grab the wicks here. It almost seems like this is the spacing is better. I'm curious to see what the square inches is when we cut open this filter. But um, really nice to note that. Now one thing, if you uh, remember early in the film, I stated how this is the one filter that does not use synthetic. They use cellulose. And the whole point behind that is because in racing, a lot of times they use a heavier oil. And because they use a heavier oil, obviously you're racing and they need high flow rates. And cellulose for K&N, it's a special material that they use. Uh, they call it, I believe, impregnated cellulose. 
and uh, for the heavier oils it does a very good job at filtering at, at a high flow rate and that's why they've gone with that so a pretty cool filter in terms of those two features the reason why they go with cellulose of course metal backed ends or end caps metal in, inside here in the tube as opposed to plastic so we'll follow up with a separate video just seeing what what the square inches are but pretty cool with the K&N so let's wrap it up with the Royal Purple and the AM Soil. I'm going to look at those two combined just because they look identical to me. And then wrapping up with Royal Purple and AM Soil, they look to be absolutely identical to me. They're both made in the USA. They are both rated up to 15,000 miles. If you look at the, uh, the cartridge here for AM Soil, it's a little messy on the gluing. Uh, you know, for $19, which is a lot of money for an oil filter, I would think that that would be a little bit better. Maybe it was just a defect for this one filter. I don't know. Uh, the Royal Purple is a little bit better regarding the gluing. I mean, you have a little, little bit of a overspray there. But regarding everything else, I mean, the diameter on the anti-drainback valve, it's they're exactly the same. They're just different colors. So that's pretty inter interesting to note. For two dollars more, it's essentially the same filter. You might as well go with the Royal Purple if you really like these two. And of all the filters here, I, I like the Wix. I mean, the, the construction is very, very good, but it's $10. It was the second least expensive of the group. And if I was racing, certainly the K&N is a very, very good filter. And for value, the Fram for 8 bucks, you certainly get a lot, of the, a lot of features for the $8 cost. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of what you can expect on these high-end oil filters. Again, if you do love one of these filters individually, we will have a separate video for each filter shortly in which we will count the pleats, we'll measure the square uh, inches, we'll also check the diameter. So we'll go into more detail in a sense. Again, I'm not going to do that now just because this, this video will just be extremely long and I just don't want to do that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.